Rhymeville is now online. Hey guys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to make a sign in and sign up form using JavaScript, HTML, and Firebase. Let's go! So the first thing you want to do is to get your HTML and body tags all set up. Once you're done with that, we're going to set up two input fields. The first input is going to be your email and the second is going to be your password. Once you're done creating your input fields, you want to go ahead and create three buttons. This is going to be your sign up button, our sign in button, and our sign out button. And this is going to be our basic structure for our HTML page. And just to close it off, we're going to add a header on top, and then we're going to enclose all of this in a div. And we're just going to call it form container. And then we're just going to add like a header tag. It's just going to be used for CSS. And that's it. Now we're about to do something we've never done on this channel which is to create a head tag. A head tag just goes above the body and just contains things that go in the header or head. The first thing we're gonna add is a title. I'm just gonna call it form. Now let's create a new file. This new file is gonna be our JS for our form. But to make this work, we're gonna actually create a new folder and we're gonna have our JS file and our HTML file in this folder. Follow what I do. So let's go ahead and open Google Chrome and look up Firebase. Firebase is gonna be used to sign up and sign in our users. It's gonna store a list of our user email addresses and their passwords, and it's pretty useful. So if you've never used Firebase before, follow along. So you wanna go ahead and create a new project, and in our project, I'm just gonna call mine form, cause why not? You can call it whatever, it doesn't matter when you're creating a project, but when you start creating the actual app, then it does matter. Alright, so now we're actually going to make the app. The app, you can call this whatever you want, but just remember, you cannot change the name once you call it. So just go ahead and name it and then save. So now Firebase is gonna help us out by generating a script. And this script, we can copy this and paste it in our JS. So let's go ahead and do it. And I'll copy what I do so you don't make any mistakes. All right, so after referencing the Firebase app in our HTML, Below that, we want to reference our JavaScript file. Type in script source is equal to and in quote form.js. Remember, if you have this saved in a folder, it should work. But if you don't have it saved in a folder, then you might want to actually get the real path of form.js. Heading back to Firebase, you want to go ahead and hit continue. And now you're going to be asked to choose a product for your app. You want to go ahead and hit authentication. This is the easiest way to do sign up and sign in with email and password. Now you want to hit set up sign in method and follow these steps. 
Now you want to go back to your HTML page and add a reference to your authentication app by doing this. Now you want to make a similar reference in your JavaScript file. Go ahead and save both files by hitting Ctrl Shift S and now let's open up our HTML file. Alright, so here we're going to make a sign up function which we're going to call whenever we click our sign up button. And in this function, we're going to make a reference to both our email input and our password input. Alright, so all we have to do now is to create the user in our authentication app. To do this, we create a promise and we set it equal to auth.createUser with email and password. Then we pass the email.value and then the password.value. And in our last line of this code, we're going to catch any errors that might occur. This could be improper formatting of the email address or if the password is less than six characters long. This is just like a Firebase thing, so we're just going to make an alert system to alert us anytime we have an error. And the last thing we're going to do here is to create an alert function to let us know we have been signed in or up. Now if we go ahead and go back to our HTML file and refresh, if we were to enter an email and a password, then hit sign up, you see our alert system works. So let's go ahead and change sign in to sign up because we're actually signing up. And now if we go back to Firebase and refresh our list, we should see our test at gmail.com as part of our users. Awesome. And now we're able to sign up to our website. Alright, so let's go ahead and create a sign in function. A sign in function is going to be the exact same as a sign up function. The difference is instead of auth does create user, it's going to be auth dot sign in with email and password. And that's the difference. And don't forget, you need to be a registered user in order to sign in. So if you put in like a random email address and a random password that's not in our database, it's going to throw you an error and say something like user not found or something like that. And this could be an opportunity to take the user to a new page and show them like their data and stuff like that that you have set up. This step right here is optional, but for alert system, what I'm going to do is add the email value so I know who's actually signed in because I'm going to eventually create multiple accounts for my website. And I just want to be sure I'm signing in with the right user. This is just from my knowledge and just for showing you guys what I'm doing. And now finally, we're going to create a sign out function. Obviously, a sign out is not going to be in the login page, but you can have this in like the home page or something like that. And sign out function is the easiest line of code you're ever going to write. It's going to be auth.signout and you just call a function and that's it. So if we go ahead and save and refresh our page.
we should now see we have two errors the first error is going to be our email because we just put out email we're supposed to put out email dot value and our second error is our sign off function we actually need the two brackets before the curly brackets awesome and basically this is the basis of creating sign in and sign up function in javascript so there's one more thing we need to add but before we do that let's go ahead and test out what we have All right, and obviously a login screen is kind of useless without having a second page. So if you had a user who was already signed up and when they signed in, you probably want to take them to a new page. So this is how we do it. So we do this by creating a function which is auth state changed. And then we call a function in here and we pass in our user. So this is going to be called if we have an active user and if we don't have an active user. So it's going to be if user, then we have a user, else, then we don't have a user, they're either signed out or we don't have a user. And that's how it works. And the premise of this is once you have a user, you can access their email, you can access their UID, you can access a bunch of things. There's a Firebase website that shows you all the things you can access if you do have a user. Make sure to check that out. Very useful. All right, so let's go ahead and save and test this out. You can see when we sign into our account, test at gmail.com and password is 123456. By the way, don't hack my account. Please don't hack my account. You can see when we do this and we sign out, you can see that when we refresh the page, it says no active user. And if we were also refresh the page again, then it's also gonna tell us no active user. You see, this value is always constant. If we don't have an active user, it's gonna say no active user. But as soon as we sign in, even if we refresh the page, it's still gonna keep us signed in. That's why I stated that we have an email address to show which account we're actually signed into. And this has been how to make a sign in and sign up page using JavaScript, HTML, and Firebase. And that's it guys. Let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know how it works for you guys. I know you guys love my chat system. So maybe if we could somehow integrate this login and the chat system, that would be very sick if you did that. And that's it. And now I'm just gonna show you guys the CSS. The CSS is pretty easy. So you guys should just copy it down and customize it however you choose. And until next time, Ryan Bill out.